Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a water drop mini game. So this is a mini game that you would typically see at carnivals and basically what happens is you've got to hit a target and when you hit that target, um, a person will be sitting on like a chair or something like that and then they'll be dropped into water. Now, it does have a little challenge into it as well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick this lever here and this is basically going to turn on the machine. Now that piston there gets dropped down randomly and the idea is to shoot an arrow through the hole here. Now obviously you can choose the distance that you want. Um, the further back obviously the harder it is. So I'm going to stand here and try and do it and what we're going to do is shoot the arrow through the hole. Let's see if we can do it. Nope. Oh yeah I got it first shot. Look at that. I am pretty skilled. And as you can see the villager Get, gets dropped into the water and he's running off because he probably hates me now. He's freezing, he's all wet, he's like, God, I was, I was having a good day and now I'm, I'm all wet. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to build this now. So what you are going to need is 8 redstone dust, 3 redstone torches, 3 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone comparator, 3 sticky pistons, 1 dropper, now make sure it's not a dispenser and that it is actually a dropper. Two hoppers. One wooden pressure plate. One lever. One block of redstone. 16 glass panes. One boat. One bucket of water and 64 blocks of your choice. Now I've just got some extras because I'm going to be doing some decorating. So the first thing that we're going to do is dig out a hole in the ground and we want to place a sticky piston facing upwards and on top of that place one of your blocks of choice. To the right of it dig out one block and then pop in a redstone torch. Now behind the redstone torch what we're going to do is dig down two blocks and then we're going to do this four more times so one two, three, and four. Now to the left here at the end, what we're going to do is dig out these two blocks here and then the ones below it. Then we want to do that three more times in that direction. So these four blocks, so that's one, two, and three. Now we want to come down into the hole here and what we're going to do is we're going to place a redstone repeater going into this block here which the torch is on. We're going to place one, two pieces of redstone dust. We're going to place a redstone comparator going into that dust there. Now get your dropper and we're going to place it on this block here facing to the right. So bam. And then we want to place one hopper going into the front face of the dropper. So make sure you're holding shift or crouching and you right click the front face of the dropper. Now behind the dropper what we're going to do is place a block and then we're going to have a redstone repeater going into that block on the back here and we're going to set it to a full tick delay. Then behind the repeater one bit of redstone, one block here to the left, a redstone repeater going into that block there on a full tick delay and then a piece of redstone there. Now once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and you'll see that we've got three blocks here. You want to dig out this middle one here, down three, so one, two, three. And then we're going to do that again two more times, so one and two. Then we're going to dig out only two blocks here and then one block. So it should be like some sort of stairs here. Now on this block highest to the top here, we're going to place a redstone torch down. Then we're going to place three pieces of redstone dust like that, making sure that the last one here isn't occupied. Then we're going to get one of our sticky pistons and we're going to place it facing it downwards like so. And then under it, we're going to place our block of redstone. Now on top of the sticky piston, we're going to place a dropper and then on top of that dropper we're going to place a wooden pressure plate. Now make sure you're holding or you're crouching and you right click the top of the dropper and then get our boat and we're going to place that on top of the um, 
pressure plate like that and it should activate the pressure plate which activates that piston there and then this should be pushed up now. Now come over to this torch here and we're going to place two blocks of our choice on top of each other like that. On the back side we're going to place a redstone torch above it, one of our blocks of choice and the last piece of redstone dust on top of that. Now on top of these two blocks here we're going to place a sticky piston which faces to the front here and then it should extend um, when you place it down. We're just going to grab a stone slab here and we're going to place it on the top half of the sticky piston. Now let's get our glass panes and what we're going to do is we're going to place three in a row like that and then three on top of them. Two on the sides here so one above each other and then three at the front here and then three on top of those ones and then we should get some sort of glass case now. Now inside of that glass case on the top um, half of it we're going to place our water block down and then it should fill it. Now let's come back over here and what we're going to do is we're going to place two blocks on either side of this uh, block here with the sticky piston like that and then we're also going to place some slabs at the top here. Now you can design however um, you want this to be but make sure that you've kind of got this single hole here because this is where um, you're going to have to shoot the arrows through. Now you want to come behind here and we're going to create just a little simple on off switch so if you place a switch there um, and you flick that down it's actually going to turn off the machine and if you flick it up then it's going to um, allow the machine to run. Now we're almost finished, what we've got to do is start up the machine, so what you're going to need is just some sort of power source such as a redstone torch, um, you're going to need a non-stackable item such as a sword, and then you're also going to need an item which can stack up to 64. So in this dropper here what you want to do is place in the sword and the item that can stack up to 64. Then what you want to do real quickly is place a redstone torch down and break it and then it should start this clock here. And as you can see, this piston will get pulled down at random times. So now we're at that part in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works. So let's start by here. Let's start with this piston going up and down. So this is basically a randomized piston and it allows for kind of difficulty in the game. So instead of just hitting the boat in plain sight, we've got this kind of obstacle in the way, which makes it a little bit more challenging to actually hit the boat. Now how this works, if we come around the back here, we've got a redstone clock and each cycle this is powering this dropper here and if you don't know, droppers dispense at random so it doesn't just go for the first of a, a first item slot in the dropper, it will go for a random one so it could either be this one, that one, this one and I think you get the gist of that and basically why I've chosen these specific items to be in here is because they have different power at all different redstone power values so the sword has a stronger power value than the oak plank so when they are dispensed into the hopper here um, we've got two redstone dust here all right so the oak plank will only power one of these redstone dust whereas the wooden sword will power two of them so as the dropper is dispensed randomly if the sword goes into the hopper here this will power these two redstone dust up which powers this repeater it turns off this torch and allows for the piston to come down but if the oak plank is dispensed into here it will only power this one piece of redstone dust there and won't do anything more until the sword actually uh, gets dispensed into the hopper here. Now the hopper is actually facing back into the dropper here so when an item is dispensed into the hopper it goes straight back into the dropper. Now how the water drop here works is over here we've got our boat sitting on top of a wooden pressure plate and that wooden pressure plate is powering this piston over here so whenever this boat is destroyed the piston will come up will, re will retract and because it retracts it unpowers this redstone over here which then allows this torch to come on and this torch is powering this block here and that unpowers or this unpowers that torch there which then unpowers this redstone here and makes this piston retract letting the player fall down into the water. Now because I'm in creative the item won't get returned but when you do break the item in survival 
the um, boat will actually get caught into this hopper so you can simply get it out again and then you can place it back on top of the um, wooden pressure plate there by right clicking on the top face of it. Now the last thing that we've got to do is simply just cover up all our blocks. So we can simply just place blocks on top of the hole here and it will cover everything up really nicely. So that's going to end off this tutorial today. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any suggestions for redstone tutorials, because I am really enjoying making these kind of like mini game, mini game type contraptions, let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas. Uh, if you want to see more redstone tutorials, I'll put a link into the description of the whole entire redstone playlist because you can learn how to create a bunch of creations as you can see down the line there. It just goes on forever that way. So I'll put a link in the description for the redstone tutorial playlist and you can check out all my other tutorials. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.